As an endocrinologist, I look after a range of conditions, and these include patients with diabetes. Well, the endocrine a part of that is that insulin is made by an endocrine gland uh, in the pancreas. Uh, so endocrinologists have traditionally uh, cared for people with diabetes. We've done the research in diabetes. Uh, we monitor people with diabetes, and we particularly monitor and manage them uh, to ensure no complications or to ensure that their complication risk is minimized. Well, in terms of diabetes, when a patient is referred to us, I think we're looking for uh, several aspects. First of all, we want to gauge their understanding of diabetes. Often they may have newly diagnosed diabetes and they really need uh, to be taken through uh, what diabetes means, uh, what they need to do to self-manage diabetes, what medications they may need, uh, what health professionals they may need to see, and uh, also to develop an understanding of how to prevent complications. On the other hand, if someone's had diabetes for a little while, let's say a number of years, and they are on medications they aren't doing particularly well, uh, then we'll assess their overall metabolic control, assess their diet, their physical activity, uh, work out what medications they should be on, work out what complications we should be uh, screening for, and if there are complications present, then uh, dealing with these uh, hopefully uh, fairly quickly. There are also other conditions such as depression and uh, sleep apnea, dental problems which need to be looked for as well. We try to give a holistic approach to a patient. I think the GPs do a great job with uh, looking after particularly type 2 diabetes. I think the specialists have uh, additional, I guess, expertise at dealing uh, with those with type 1 diabetes where uh, management and assessment can be very tricky. Uh, there are algorithms which one can use for type 2 diabetes, but with type 1, I think it takes a, a, a specific, I guess, set of skills. So what does an endocrinologist bring to, I guess, the, the diabetes patient which the GP may not have? Well, first of all, I guess we have the expertise with a team approach. I work in a, with a team of diabetes educators and a dietitian and an exercise physiologist. And I think that one has to understand that the management of diabetes does not solely consist of drug treatment. Uh, it can be very complicated uh, with lifestyle management. Uh, particular diets may need to be prescribed. A particular exercise regimen may need to be prescribed. There are so many medications now available for type 2 diabetes, all with uh, potential side effects and some with uh, particular benefits. It can be a very harrowing and complicated area for uh, the general practitioner. And that's, again, because it's our area of study and research, that's what we are more used to dealing with. And there's several combinations of medications which are harmful uh, and uh, shouldn't be used as well. And it can be, become very confusing for the, uh, the uh, particular doctor. So that's where specialist comes in. And of course, looking after or looking for complications such, again, such as depression and, and sleep apnea and looking after their dental work, etc. It can be used in a specialist setting sometimes, particularly if the patient's very ill. So the patient has a whole range of questions and it's very useful, I think, for them to have a list of questions to ask us uh, and to uh, therefore uh, ask on the day rather than wait till the next time. Um, I think patients have to realise and understand that we as endocrinologists do acknowledge that diabetes can be a very complex condition uh, to look after. Uh, it can, it's more than prescribing drugs. It can be highly distressing for a patient uh, to develop diabetes. So we want to highlight the benefits of early treatment and management to prevent problems occurring in the future. Uh, we like to highlight the benefits, for example, of blood testing when you need to, not doing too much, but not doing too little. We like to highlight the benefits of seeing the GPs for regular checks and seeing the other specialists to ensure no eye disease, seeing a podiatrist to ensure that there's no foot disease, etc. So if you like, we, we like to be seen as the, uh, one of the key players in managing diabetes along with the GP, along with the diabetes educator and dietitian if they're required as well. Mm -hmm.